Hey everyone, just getting myself ready for work here and I wanted to give you a little tutorial on how to use the 3D brush for your whole highlight and contour. So first I'm gonna start with the fluffy under the brush here and I'm just gonna dip that right into my main highlight color. This is the color that's gonna be like your foundation and I'm just gonna tap it in there really lightly. I don't wear a whole lot of makeup at work underneath my mask because I don't like it to rub and irritate my skin, but I'm just gonna go with a super light dusting of color, just mainly to kind of correct some of those blemishes or red areas. And the 3D brush is perfect for whole face application if you're on the go because it has the fluffier end which you can apply your main foundation, your blush, your bronzer, your contour, whatever you want with this brush. And then I'm gonna go in with a pointy coned end and I'm just gonna dip right into my brightening shade and go right under my eyes with some of that. I like to put it right in the inner corner and then along the outer edge. And then I'm gonna kinda of swirl that in there to blend it. I'm just using a really, really light touch. Our brushes are super soft, so it's easy to go light with that delicate skin under the eyes. Okay, and then I'm gonna also use the pointy end here to apply my contour color. I'm gonna use, I've been really liking um, Astoria lately for my contour because it's a little bit darker and as we get a little bit more sun this spring, summer, it just shows up a little bit better. So I'm gonna go right underneath my cheekbone here and apply a little bit of that contour. I like to kind of make myself a dark line and go go a little bit heavy at first here so that I can really see it. And I'm gonna put a little bit along my forehead. This looks silly. That's the point. As crazy as it looks, it blends out beautifully. So now you can see how I'm starting to carve out my cheekbones here and then add a little bit of dimension to my forehead. I'm gonna go ahead and flip that brush over again and just kind of press that contour color up and blend it in. I'm being careful that I don't take too much of it off because I don't want to take away from the shadow that I've created. Okay, then I'm going to use the fluffy end again and I'm just kind of swirl that right into my hairline. Okay, and then let's see here. I think I'm going to go with one of my favorites for the lip and cheek, Frenchie. I use this one all the time. I've got a couple more lip and cheek colors coming in the mail, so I'll be showing you girls some new ones next week. All right, got a little bit of that, and I like to just go right along the contour line, go right above there, and apply the lip and cheek color, or the cheek color, and just kind of bring it all in, warm everything up. And then last but not least, I'm gonna use a little bit of my illuminator here. I've been loving the pearl illuminator, so I'm just gonna, actually, I'm just gonna tap a little bit right with my finger here. Don't even need a brush for this. Just catch some of that light with that shimmer. See how beautiful that looks? Super easy to add some illumination. A little bit on the cupid's bow, a little bit down my nose, and I'll apply a little bit of Frenchie on the lips and I'll be good to go. All right, once again, that's a 3D brush here. Got the fluffy end for um, all over color, your blush. You can even use it kind of, you can squeeze it like this and use that for your contour as well. And then the coned end is perfect for going under the eyes and applying that contour either under the cheekbone, along the nose or the jawline, or even some people like to contour out their lips to make them look a little bit fuller. You can use this brush for anything. If you're gonna get one brush, get this one.